Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be filming my February favourites and I just filmed this makeup look right here which is also going to be going up on my channel but it's going to be my next video up because I wanted to get my February favourite up. February favourites up first because I didn't want it to get like too far into March and then be like I can't do my February favourites. So I have quite a few products to get through right now so I'm gonna get straight into the video and my first favourite of this month is my Mario Badescu Rose Water and I love this. I put this on before my makeup, when I take my makeup off, before I go to bed and I just use it to just refresh my face and it makes my skin feel so like calm and refreshed and it also like moisturises my skin as well. Also on the lines of skincare I have my Lush popcorn lip scrub and I use this when my lips are getting a bit dry which is especially through this winter season. Also to moisturise my lips I've been using this Body Shop Born Lippy Lip Balm and this is in the, would you say flavour? It's, it's in raspberry and it smells really good and it just moisturises my lips like so much and I just, I love this, it's been like saving my head, my saving my lips from getting chapped like all winter well not all winter because i got it like in the past month but it's been really good help the skincare product i've been using is this pearlescence coconut rose facial scrub and my skin goes through really dry and really oily um phases and especially in the winter periods and in cold periods my skin's been really dry so i've been using this when my skin's been getting dry um and it's just moisturized my skin as well as exfoliating my skin and i just i love it it smells so good as well recently found my favorite favorite face mask and this is the l'oreal paris pure clay glow mask and this um brightens and exfoliates and this is a pink one they do like a whole range of them but I've been using this every week twice a week maybe and it's just cleared up my skin so much and I think it's kind of like in pair with the rose water and it's cleared up my skin um, and it also exfoliates my skin as well at the same time so this is like really 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 good kind of a random thing to add into my favorites but this is the Tresemme Keratin Smooth 5-in-1 Deep Soothing Hair Conditioning Mask and I use this um, once or twice a week I'd say and it just leaves my hair like so soft and it smells so good and it just does so many favours for my hair because my hair is like really long now it just uh, hydrates the ends and moisturises and everything and I leave it on for about 10 minutes and then I have like silky smooth hair. I also have my new eye makeup, favourite eye makeup remover. This is the MAC Gently Off Eye Makeup Eye and Lip Makeup Remover and it's like an emulsion so you can see the two um, liquids and you shake it together and it comes like a cloudy mixture and I put this on uh, a cotton wool pad and then I just removes my eye makeup literally in one swipe and I've never found anything so good at getting glitter off my face because you know when you wear like glitter and then like you find it the next day and the bits like here and a bits here and a bits there and a bits in your eyebrow this just gets rid of it and it also breaks down my makeup but because it's like an oil base I have to go over the top with like a micellar water or something just to clear the oil off my face but it gets rid of like every last drop of makeup on my skin. I also have my new favourite um, makeup cleansing spray and when I'm in a bit of a rush to clean my makeup products, say I've just filmed a video and I need to clean them to film another video or if I'm away and cleaning them because I usually clean them with soap in water but that takes ages to dry and I literally use this a couple sprays on your brushes and it's clean in like two seconds. And this is the brush technique makeup brush cleansing spray okay now on to makeup this i've just filmed a video like i just said so it's been used but this is my favorite sponge now for blending out my concealer because i've started using a brush for my foundation but i'll get into that in a second um this is the real techniques sponge and it's a mini sponge I just use this for my concealer and it gets right under your eyes you can use it to conceal your eyelids and obviously like if you have acrylics on you know 
it's a struggle to like get a concealer in your eyelids and you poke yourself in the eye so this is just like a really good shade but it's been like so useful right now now i'd say literally my favorite one of my favorite 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 products of this video it has to be the l'oreal infallible foundation stick and i have mine in the shade rose vanilla and it's just a stick foundation and i've got it on right now it's so good the coverage is buildable and i started using it um, with this Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm guessing you could just use a big brush or like a dense brush or any brush you want really because you just use any brush in makeup anyway. Um, and I've been loving this. I've been wearing it like every day when I wear makeup and it's just so quick. I literally like... Now this product isn't new to my channel. This is the Maybelline New York Eye Eraser Concealer and I've just recently got back into this like using this a lot again um yeah i kind of stopped using it for a while i went through a phase of kind of using it and not using it but i've used it like religiously every day for this month so this is definitely a favorite i mentioned these in my drugstore full face makeup video these are the collection glam crystals uh gel liners and this is in the shade funk and this is in the shade glitz i've got a silver and gold one and they're so pigmented i've got the silver one on my eyes right now um they're just so pig pigmented and so easy to use there's so many ways you can use them and i just like i'm so glad i picked these up now i've recently found a new mascara that i really like this is the rimmel london wonderful mascara and this has just a really big wand and it's really good at lengthening your lashes so i use this for like school and stuff and this has just been really great i I'm a bit slow on this one but I recently got my first Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and this, honestly, you spray this on your face and your makeup just, it just doesn't move all day, like all day and I'd 100% recommend this to everyone, it's the best setting spray I've tried and I'm really, really liking it. Now I have a new favourite lip duo as well and this is the W7 Lip Twister and this is just a lip liner and it's kind of a pinky nude, I have it on my lips now and then I have this gloss and this is the NYX Butter Gloss and this is just such a lovely colour, they're all so pigmented and it smells, it smells really sweet and it smells really good and I've been using these quite a bit and I just really like putting these two together. Now again this isn't new to my makeup collection but I've started using it a lot recently and this is the Gosh Brow Gel and in the shade Transparent and this is just a transparent brow gel but it's been keeping my brows in place all day. This is what the wand looks like. Now I got this eyeshadow palette for Christmas but I've been recently using it a lot this month. Um, this is the Colourpop Double Entender. I don't know how to pronounce that, so don't take my word for it. But it's got a load of really nice nude colours. It's got some darks, some shimmers, and the shimmers are so pigmented. Let me just pick a few up. So here's some of the shimmers on my fingers. I'll just swatch these because I really like them. They're not like clumpy or anything, they're just super glittery, super shiny and really pigmented and it's quite cheap. Now I had this um, Maybelline New York, I don't know if it's a contour or bronzing palette but I'm going to call it a bronzing palette. I had this um, bronzer at the back of my makeup collection for such a long time and I used it recently in one of my videos and it's like when you mix the matte bronzer and the shimmer together it makes such a nice bronzer and I've been using it it's kind of like a natural glow it's not like really pigmented it's just like the right pigmentation I've been using this like every time I wear makeup just really quickly get your brush and go like and then yeah <laughs> the last thing I'm gonna be talking about today is my new favorite lashes and I didn't get into lashes until very long ago and I found these and they've been my absolute favourites these are the Vivi's collection lashes and I've got three pairs here so I have these slightly big fluffy lashes here and then these smaller fluffy lashes these look a bit more natural and then I have these really big lashes here which I have on 
right now and they range from about I think it's like a pound to four pounds for all these pairs depending on the style you pick and they've got a really thin lash band which is like easy to work with so I'd say if you're a beginner these are going to be like really fun to start trying with lashes because they're cheap as well so if you mess up it's not going to be too big of a so I feel like I had to go through that quite quickly because I did have so much to go through in my February favourites I've just had quite a lot of things this month that have been really ticking all the boxes so that's the end of the video thank you all so much for watching if you liked it don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already also turn the notification bell on to be notified when I upload this video here on this makeup look if you're interested and I'll see you all really soon in my next video. Bye!